So if it doesn't benefit your business, it's just noise. Ignore all the noise. Motivate yourself in the right direction and you can be successful. Hey, it's Don. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about motivation. Getting yourself moving and putting yourself in the right mood to be successful. Now I know that sounds like just a bunch of talk. It's not how things work, but if I'm motivated, I've got a reason to get up, a reason to do everything that I do on a daily basis, then I'm going to want to do it more. It doesn't turn out to feel like work. Even if I'm working long hours, it doesn't feel like that. I'm motivated because, of course, it's all my income. I'm not working for somebody else. Somebody else isn't taking the lion's share of my hard work and keeping that money. Now, I try these days to block out what I would say is just noise. I assess everything that's going around in my business, and if it's not actually helping me grow my business, it's not doing anything specific that helps my business, it's just noise. It's just stuff that just needs to be blocked out, basically. I can't fix what eBay decides to do. I can't fix when Amazon changes some rule or something like that. I can't change or address issues like if uh, tax laws change or the post office changes. All of that stuff is just noise. I know some people are having trouble. I know there's sales issues. It's summer and all of that kind of stuff. But one month or a couple weeks here, a couple days there of no sales or something, don't make your entire year. Many businesses who run brick and mortar, real world stores, retail, or whatever the case may be, may make a large chunk of their revenue from the last quarter of the year, the last three months of the year. A toy store, for an example, like Toys R Us. I know they're not technically back yet and they pretty much closed all their main stores. But when Toys R Us or a toy store like that uh, is open and they're doing business, 70, 75, or even more percent of their entire yearly revenue can come from just a few months, the last three months, October, November, and December of that year. So the rest of the year, they may be slow. As long as you do good in certain months of the year, and that's your business plan, you can still succeed and have you know a, a good outcome for the year. There are seasonal companies that only run business in a season. Christmas, Easter, 4th of July, fireworks manufacturers, for example. They technically get two because you have New Year's and then you have 4th of July. But those are perfect examples of businesses that still stay in business year after year after year and only have to worry about a couple months. Now, obviously, it's much better to have sales throughout the year. If you're having trouble with those and you're losing your motivation in that, that's going to really run down your business from there. The lack of motivation will basically kill your interest to putting extra work, extra time into it. You're just going to give up and assume that I'm never going to make it because it's not going well right now and I don't know what to do. I hear that quite often from folks. Digging in, finding new sources of material, doing a little better research, looking for things outside of your normal box, looking for things that normally you'd never think about. Now, I'll give you an example here. I've been able to source at the mall from quite a few stores, believe it or not, which I was really surprised is doable. We can source in a grocery store at certain times of the year, not all year round. You've got RA, retail arbitrage, you can do. Now, obviously, around here, I can't make a living off of it, but I can sure as heck, some times of the year, find stuff at Walmart or Target that's in clearance that I can turn around, pick up at a very low cost, and resell it online because they're selling for a lot more online. There, there's a ton of different opportunities out there. Some items only sell great on one platform. Other items may sell on two or three different platforms. You've got to have the motivation, though, to look outside the box and not get frustrated by all the noise and the complications. Anybody telling you that a business, starting a business off like this, is going to be easy is not giving you the straight truth on how this works. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of effort. It took us three plus years to even come to a point where we didn't have to worry where the next bill was going to be paid from. 
we weren't selling uh, everything just to pay a bill and keeping up barely. So it's going to take you time. And it's harder now than when we first started as well. And loss of motivation is a huge killer of businesses. It, it's just the way it is. You don't have the interest. You don't put in the effort. And that can crush you before you've even really given it a solid chance. Anything that's not gaining you revenue or helping grow your business, again, is noise. It's just stuff that's occupying your head that's not going to solve or fix the, the issue at hand. I can't fix how shipping works on a platform. I can only ship by a method that they have. I can't help that I have only so many hours to upload tracking on platforms as well. Again, you, you have to work within the parameter. A lot of people will get frustrated and pay attention to this noise and, and get mad and, and stuff at eBay or, or Amazon or Etsy or whichever platform you are on. I hear it every day of my life. Sometimes I get frustrated with the sites too. I've had my issues with some of the platforms, but again, at this point, it, it's wasting my time with stuff that I can't control and it's pulling me away from doing what I should do, being motivated enough to go out there. For me, the number one thing that gets me motivated is knowing that I don't have to go to work, that I don't have a boss, that I'm in total control. I have freedom. Freedom is the number one thing that gets you. Now, even if I've got to follow a site rules or something else like that, that's bare bones minimum at this point. If you do what you're supposed to, you go along with the rules and, and guidelines for the platform, which you all accepted if you started selling on any platform, you accepted the rules to do so. If you didn't read them, that's on you. I just go ahead. If it's something you want to do, like selling a platform, you have to accept them. You have to read them. You have to know what they say and just follow the rules. Don't get yourself bogged down on that. Don't let that kill your motivation. Your motivation should be looking as that as just some minuscule aspect of what you've got to do. You can sell pretty much anything across the net. You could have your own platform as well through Shopify or any of the other GoDaddy or any of the other ones that are out there that uh, create websites for you. you. You've got a ton of opportunity. There's all kinds of places you can sell things, all types of things you can sell without too much trouble. It's just going to take you time. It's going to actually mean that you're going to have to put in a ton of effort. Motivation without that, you're, you're not going to want to put in that extra time, that extra effort to get to the next step. Anybody can purchase and sell some things online, but to maintain it as a full-time business, to grow that where you're making more money, you, you're not going to get a raise from anybody. If you want to make more money each year, you've got to up your game and sell more that year or figure out something else that gets you more revenue. That should be your motivation, knowing that you can change it yourself if you can figure out another way to do it. Use your brain. It's far better to have more knowledge and use that than it is to put in sweat equity into your business. Again, you need to put in the effort, though. You need to work a certain length of time. You need to put in a little more if you're not doing well. When most people start a business, it's a long, drawn-out process. It's a lot of hours that you're putting into it, a ton of hours. 50, 60, 70 hours would be you know, bare-bones minimum for some folks. If you've got the time, put it into the business. Be more motivated to work, to get your money coming in, to put money in the bank for you than you'd be motivated to watch a movie sitting on the sofa. Now, that doesn't mean that you do not take any breaks, that you don't relax and, and chill for a while, but you've got to be solid with what you're doing. You've got to lock in your time for your business. You've got to control what you're doing with your time. You've got to be able to basically separate personal time from business time and put in the required amount of time. If you're working out of your house, that may be very hard for you if your spouse is there, your partner, loved ones, kids, or whatever the case may be. You've got to be able to separate it. You've got to be motivated enough to keep at this. Again, because the longer you do this, the better you will be and the more money you will make. We make more money these days than I have ever made before because we've stuck with this. Even when it didn't seem possible, I knew at the end of the day, hopefully things would go in the right direction. Slowly improved, and again, that's what's going to happen. If you're motivated, though, I'm going to keep repeating that. You've got to be motivated. 
without that motivation, whatever it is, if the motivation is to, again, have money, that can be a good thing here as well. Bottom line is anybody can do this, but it's not easy. It's going to take a lot of work and a lot of time. It's not just some simpleton thing that you instantly are going to be making enough money to live on. One of the numbers I've heard repeated so many times by many, many people is only one out of three people will be able to even just work for themselves, let alone run a business that's going to make you enough money to pay for your entire household, your roof or your head, a car, your insurance, and all of that stuff. So you really need to be super motivated with this. My biggest motivation is, again, the freedom. The fact that I never, ever, ever want to work for somebody else. I never want somebody else to control my life or my hours, my time, or my work ethic or anything else like that. It's my own game. If I fail, it's on me. So I have every motivation to not fail and to succeed because it will make my life easier and better. It will also make the lives of my family, my loved ones, better as well. Well, anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Otherwise known as the old grind, the old rat race, chasing the buck, or what have you. Looks familiar, doesn't it? It gives you a jolt sometimes when it hits you that everything you do or don't do in this business directly affects profits. Of course, not everyone sees it just that way. Now, you take our friend Arthur over there, grocery department manager. You know who he really is? He's you. He's everybody in this business. 